Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you um, a haul that I have from two stores that I went to yesterday. I went to Walgreens and Walmart. So I guess I'll do Walmart first. Uh, I went to Walmart and I was looking at the Christmas stuff. And, um, okay, so then I looked in the, wa uh, the beauty aisle. And on some Wet n Wild products, they had a two dollar off coupon, and it didn't have a limit or anything like, oh, this this purchase must be, you know, a certain amount of money. It didn't have that on the coupon, so I took it, and I got a Wet n Wild palette, and I don't have any Wet n Wild palettes. And this one is a Sweet and Candy, and it's a pink for the eyelid, brown for the crease, and like a vanilla -y color for the brow bone. So what it looks like very pretty and it feels very smooth very pretty so I'm very happy with that I'm gonna definitely be getting more so there's the swatches I don't know if you can see it yeah okay and I don't know I wasn't gonna show you guys this because it's kind of weird but who cares so I don't know I heard some reviews about this thing for periods it's called soft cup that's what it looks like and it's like this thing right here that I guess you put up there and I don't know I guess it's supposed to like uh, capture the blood and you don't have leaks or anything so I don't know I thought that was kind of interesting it sounds kind of weird so I don't know how this is going to be happening for me but I usually wear pads so I don't know I guess I'll try that and see how it goes for me so at Walmart I ended up spending seven dollars and ten cents so the wet n wild palette this ended up only being $0.93 cents because I had the $2 off coupon and it's $2.93 at Walmart. And then that soft cup thing was $5.48 and there are <laughs> oh, 14 in them. And it says 12 hour period protection. So, I don't know. If you guys want a review on this, let me know and I guess I'll do it once I try it. Okay, so that was it for Walmart. And then I went to Walgreens, because they were having a buy one get one free of the EOS bombs. Well, not the EOS bombs, but the imitation ones from Walgreens. So, the first Walgreens I went to, they only had this one. And it's the watermelon. It smells like watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's exactly what it smells like. And... This is what the packaging looks like. So that was the first Walgreens. That's all they had. So I didn't get it because I wasn't going to buy two of the same ones. And um, so I went to another Walgreens that has more stuff and it's bigger. And I went to the lip products aisle. And that's all they had too was that one. So I was like, what's going on with Walgreens? So I was going to go to the one that's closer to my house. Because those two I went to are closer to my mom's house. So I went to one that's closer to my house. No, 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 I didn't go to that one. I was going to go to that one, sorry. And at the cash register, they had like a plastic bowl full of those imitation U.S. bombs. So I was like, yes. And so I got this one. And it's in sugar cookie. It really smells vanilla-y and like holiday. It smells like a candle. That's what it smells like. And then... This one, the candy cane, and it's minty. You can feel the minty, and you can taste the minty when you taste it. I don't know if the other ones have a taste, because this is the only one that I tried today. I just got these last night. And they don't have the names on them. It just says Revo, the expiration date, and Well at Walgreens. And then the last one I got was this purple one. And that one is Berry Frost. So it smells really good too. So I'm curious to, when I try them to see if they taste like it too. Like this minty one, candy cane. 
And then I also got, um, I've heard a lot of good things about this Jordana Fabuliner. So I got one in black. That's what it looks like. This is what the tip looks like. It's kind of thick. Oh, I'll do a swatch for you. So that's like at an angle. And then at the if you do it right at the tip, it's I don't know. It's not that dark. So that's at the on the side and then at the tip. So I got this because I heard a lot of good things about it. And I wanted to try it because the one that I usually use is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2 in 1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum. And I never used to wear um eyeliner on the top of my lids because I have really oily lids so it would always like transfer after a few hours and then I saw a YouTuber talking about this one and it was either $9.99 or $10.99 at Walmart so excuse me so I picked this up and I really loved it because it didn't transfer and so this is what so you can see it's thinner. So, but this one I've had it since summer. But like, I don't know. Sometimes it dries out on me. But right now it's not dry. So these three at the bottom are that one. See, it? so it's a lot thinner. You can make it a lot thinner than the Jordana one. And I really like it. And it's really easy to clean up. Like, if you make a mistake, you can take a wet um, Q-tip and put it on there and it won't get all smudgy and weird. So I really like that about that. But that Jordana liner, it was good. It was kind of, um, like, kind of weird to put it, like, towards the inner because it is a little thicker. And then I put it on a few hours ago now and it's already creased on this eye a little bit so I don't know I guess I'm gonna have to play around with it and see what I can do to make it not crease was for $1.99 compared to the $9.99 or $10.99 that's it's an amazing deal so uh, that's it that's all I got so thanks for watching guys